Hey folks, Coach Patrick here from Endurance Nation. Happy Friday, team. Man, it is freezing. Speaking of F words, not going to drop that one. It's freezing here in Boston, and it's Friday, and got some questions. Been doing an awful lot of administrating uh, behind the scenes for all of the new Try Now members. Uh, for those of you who are watching this, this is your first video from Endurance Nation. Welcome. Uh, I do this weekly. Uh, you can submit all of your questions to weekly Q&A at EnduranceStation.us. That's weekly, the letter Q, the word N, the letter A, Endurance Station US, and I, Coach Patrick, will answer them for you. So uh, two questions this week, two good ones. Um, one, I think is a little bit old, so I apologize for sure, but let me go through it. So um, the initial question is, um, I get uh, a lot of, well, I've seen a lot on the forums how uh, when people ask about continuing the OS if they need to repeat or what they should do with the OS, you guys keep recommending weeks 9 through 12. What up with that? Well, um, truth be told, uh, the OS plan, which is 16 weeks long, has two main elements to it. There's the functional threshold element to it for the bike, which happens weeks 1 to 8, and then weeks 13 to 16. But weeks 9 to 12, those th that, that third cycle, or that third weekly block out of the four or four weekly blocks, um, is all VO2 work. Uh, we change the intensity on the bike there, and we also change the intensity a little bit on the run. Um, and as a result, that third cycle is kind of the key cycle. So uh, if you're in the house and uh, the new members, some of you will see this where I've said, you know, your season plan says you should be in block four of OS, but I want you to do block three and then just skip right to the basic month. Block three is the money week. If you've got the fitness and the ability to sustain it, block three is where we really boost uh, your VO2, which is essentially that the roof of your fitness. So remembering the, the analogy of a house, um, if you've got your roof, which is your VO2, your, your speed potential, if you will, and your threshold, which is your actualized speed, every once in a while we need to raise that roof so we can go ahead and raise the ceiling again. Uh, and that happens typically after a good training cycle, which is the first eight weeks of the OS. Go into the VO2 cycle, the week 9 to 12 of the OS really boost up the, boost up the ceiling and go back to the threshold and we see that final gain. Uh, this is something that we've been working on behind the scenes, super top secret for 2009, coming out soon, some emails bouncing back and forth between some wicked smart people, um, where it looks like we're going to do a little bit more to work on the VO2 stuff. But for now, the safe answer is 9 to 12, those weeks of the OS plan, that is where you get the biggest bang for your buck. And I'm all about the big bang. No wasting your time. We want you to get out there, get fast faster so we can have more fun kicking people's butts come April when the weather turns nice, if the weather ever turns nice. And speaking of biking and being outside and nice weather, let's turn to question number two. Um, question number two from Nemo. Nemo, what's up? I'm so happy to get your questions. Uh,